The day of reckoning is at hand. My house is about to commence in the exorcism of a Goodman Brown turd. Yeah. We have to get one last sample of how this thing sounds. The Goodman Brown. That's not me, that's the unit thinking about starting. <laughs> That's that Goodman turd. Up here in my attic, do have the two Goodman turds. We're pulling this one out for the upstairs, taking it out. Four ton Goodman turd going in, and this is an R22. Going in is a three ton R410 system. That is smaller indeed. Um, two reasons I went ahead and did that. One, I don't have to uh, desecrate. Actually, there's gonna be three reasons. The second reason is, um, the three-ton unit will be able to uh, tap off the resources of my solar better than a larger unit. The third thing that I'll do, if the three-ton can't maintain set point, if it does maintain set point, that's all fine and dandy. Chance it might not, because you're going from a four-ton R22 to a three-ton R410, that is definitely a drop in capacity. If it doesn't keep up, bedroom that I use for projects. We'll just shut that vent off and then I'll get one of those inexpensive mini splits to put in there. Probably with its own solar panel array. So that's going to be just another project down the line. So, yeah. So, getting ready to start tearing this apart. It's about 6.30, 7 in the morning. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Look at this nasty thing. Its days were numbered. Not too bad in there. As far as dirt goes. But... You'll notice that uh, there's a fan manager in there and not the original stack relay type fan relay, which always fails. And it failed here after I moved into this house. I just started moving this unit. Look at this. Yeah, there you go. That's a good one for you. <laughs> Too much fun. Got the nitro up here. So we're gonna run some purging. Got a couple of swages here. Focus. Extend the pipe. Yeah, so uh, looks, looks probably gonna be good. Got this put together enough that I can move on to the outside. It's vacuuming down right now. I'll have to come back with some pipe insulation. And I also got to connect my condensate drain right down there. Good. The handler is installed. Got the wires hooked up. Power on. And the outside unit, I still got to, uh, well, I don't have it. The controls section set up on it at all. Oh, man, it's getting nasty out here. But looks like the vacuum pump is done. 320 microns, I would say that is good. Yeah. Okay. You guys ready to hear how different the scene it sounds than the old Goodman bastard right there? By the way, the neighbor's Goodman is running over there. So, uh, uh, and this is when the thermostat, you know, is calling for cooling. Relay turns on the outdoor fan motor, and then uh, these two terminals right here go into the uh, variable frequency drive, tell it to run. I'm just gonna stick this on right there. There she goes. Three phase compressor. Running on single phase input from my house. Definitely a lot quieter than the good one. Inside is like a 84 degrees. <laughs> we'll let this run a second. See what the, everything balances off to. I already charged it a little bit ago. Just had to put a couple, couple ounces of refrigerant in it. What we got here? It's like 100, a little over. 388, 389. Kind of creeping up there a little bit. 146. 
high load in the house. I have the downstairs unit off, of course we wouldn't go to here over if I didn't. Humidity's was 50% this morning, so I'm sure there's a bunch of humidity in the house from having that off. So subcooling about 70. Very little super heat. I, uh, that's the temperature coming out of the vent upstairs in the bedroom. It was like 84 when I just turned it on a second ago. It says 63. It's probably, the turn air's probably dropped a little bit too, you know, since it's running, but getting pretty close to a 20 degree split, which is good, you know, with all the humidity and all. It's just insane. Monsoon season started. So, and the amps. 19.3, 19.2. That pressure dropped down a little bit too. That's got a little breeze. About 19.2 amps. I got it all caulked. It's not that foam tape sealing it through there anymore. So the heat sink is down in there. the condenser section people are all like freak out you know when you show them that but once you're around variable frequency drives and uh, VRF units VRV units whatever you'll see that most of them are air cooled uh, most of your mini splits and the fins are just inside the condenser section so yeah it's cooling by 130 degree air all right the afternoon come back up here to uh, insulate the pipe just grabbed what I could grab at uh, Lowe's and uh, should be good to go. Put the uh, condensate on with a clean out here. Um, one thing I really don't like, but I wasn't prepared for, is the, uh, and this is the way it was on the old one, is the, the return just goes right on the back, the flat piece of sheet metal, which I'll put back on here. But maybe someday I'll make a box um, just to bring it out a couple inches, just so the air maybe goes across the coil a little more even. That, that hole, I mean, it's pretty much the whole size of the inlet, but, you know, you could have air going a little faster across one part of the coil than the other. And it's got one of those end channel coils in there, but, uh, right. hopefully it's all good. Man, I'm sweating. Temperature split seem to be pretty good. So it's working. It's, this is only a three ton now. <laughs> so now the, uh, you're gonna see about, uh, you know, seeing if it'll actually, what it can achieve, <laughs> being that it's went from four ton to three ton, and from R22 to 410. So this is a thermal zone, which is a ream, basically up here. Nice rounded edges. Way better panels than Goodman. These piece of shits. <laughs> this sucker's gonna be next to die. Looks like its condensate pan is bad. I had to replace this one a while back. And now when I saw it, when it shut off, it gurgled some water out. And the trap's not plugged, so it must have a crack in the pan or something. So maybe next year if it can hold in there. Freaking going to be dripping that secondary pan. That sucks. Unless I get brave and come up and mess with the uh, drain pan later this summer. Um, another weekend morning. Seal it up or whatever. But yeah. So, well, let's get to the outside. Hey. Pretty much wrapped up. Of course, now the Goodman unit's running, so it's pretty loud. And we're not ready to tie in the solar yet. Conduit was being ran today. It stopped right there. My sparky friend. <laughs> this little box here, because I'm also tapping off one 20 volt there to also feed. It's gotta go over into that pull box over here because right now the 110 was temporarily been fed through an extension cord that tied up in here but we'll pull the power for the 110 and then we're going to pull the power whoop, for the uh, dc coming out of this it's going to go through there okay i was up in the 80s when i fired this thing back up so down at 77. Oh, not too bad. Considering that uh, we got it up into the 80s and it's a hot and humid day. And we'll see how that unit handles. So uh, 
I'll fire up a computer later and get this video up. And then uh, coming in the future at some point, we'll get that uh, power ran from the solar panels over to that new unit, tie into the DC bus. I do have two more solar panels I gotta get up to get the voltage higher. And then we'll uh, do some readings. We'll see how it reduces the power coming from the on-grid when I plug in the solar. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that stuff. Yeah.